Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Vishali and today we will learn about PyTorch linear regression. And the following are the topics that we are going to discuss. Firstly, we will discuss about PyTorch linear regression and after that we will understand about PyTorch linear regression from scratch and then we will discuss about PyTorch linear regression data loader and after that we will understand about PyTorch linear regression loss and in the last we will discuss about PyTorch linear regression gradient descent. So without any delay let's jump to the topic and discuss about PyTorch linear regression. Linear regression is a supervised machine learning approach that finds the best fit linear line between the dependent and independent variables. It also finds the linear relationship between the dependent and independent variables. The equation of the linear regression is y is equal to ax plus b. Here y is the dependent variable and x is the independent variable and b is the intercept and a is the slope that is coefficient of slope. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch linear regression from scratch. The linear regression established a linear relationship between the dependent and independent variables. In linear regression we built a model and predict the relationship between the dependent and independent variables. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch linear regression from scratch with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import variable from torch.autograde. After importing all the necessary libraries here we are describing the variables by using torch.tensor function and after that we are initializing the model class and declaring the forward pass and then we are creating an object for the linear regression model and after that select the optimizer and loss criteria and then training the model. Firstly, we compute predicted y by passing x to the model and then compute and print the loss and after that zero gradients perform a backward pass and update the weights and after that test if getting the correct result using this model. Now execute this cell and you can see that our model inherently learns the relationship between the input data and output data without being programmed explicitly. Now move forward and discuss PyTorch linear regression data loaders. A linear regression output label is indicated as a linear function of input features that uses weights and bias and these weights and bias are the modal parameters. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch linear regression data loaders with the help of an example. So here is our example. Firstly we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import numpy. After importing the library here we are loading the data and then we convert to the other torch tensor by using torch dot from underscore numpy function and then print the input and target variable by using print function and after that create a tensor data set and then using the data loader class and after that assess the data from the data loaders and then define the set of weight and bias and after that print the weight and bias then define equation of the linear regression and then define the equation of the linear regression and after that predict the model output 
Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch linear regression data loaders calculate the predicted, calculate the predictions and actual targets and the value of the prediction and actual targets are printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about PyTorch linear regression loss. In linear regression loss function is used to calculate the performance of the model and how well our model is performing. The loss function is also used to improve the hyperparameters of that the resulting value of the loss will be less. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch linear regression loss with the help of an example. Here is our example. So firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import numpy. After importing the libraries, here we are loading the data. After that, we are converting the input variable and target variable to torch tensor by using torch.from underscore numpy function and then we want to print input variable and target variable and after that create a tensor data set and then using the data loader class and after that we are assessing the data from the data loaders and then we are defining the set of weights and bias and after that we are printing the weight and bias by using print function and then define the equation of the linear regression and after that predict the modal output and then defining the loss function and after that calculate the loss and print the prediction actual target and loss. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch linear regression loss value is printed on the screen. Now move forward and discuss about the PyTorch linear regression gradient descent. In linear regression, gradient descent is defined as an optimization algorithm for finding a local minimum of a differentiable function. It is an optimization algorithm that computes the gradient of the loss function to update the weights and decreases the loss and also find the minima of the loss function. Now we will understand the concept of the PyTorch linear regression gradient descent with the help of an example to clear our doubt. So here is our example. Firstly, we will import all the necessary libraries such as import torch and import numpy. After importing the libraries, here we are loading the data and then converting the input variable and target variable to torch tensor by using torch.from underscore numpy function and after that print the target variable and input variable by using print function and then create a tensor data set and after that using data loader class then assess the data from the data loaders and after that define a set of weights and bias and print the weight and bias by using print function and after that defining the equation of the linear regression and then predict the modal output after that defining the loss function and then calculate the loss and after that implementing a gradient descent for 20 epochs and then iterate through the training data loaders and after that generate predictions and get the loss and perform back propagation and then let's update the weights and in the last set the gradients to zero and print the epochs and loss values. Now execute this cell and you can see that the PyTorch linear regression gradient descent value is printed on the screen. So with this we have covered all the topics related to the PyTorch linear regression. If this video was helpful please like this video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one and here are some YouTube video suggestion that you must watch. Thank you.